Good morning. So this is going to be probably my third vlog hike through the woods to see what we can see, whether that's birds or anything nature. Uh, this morning we are at Maxwell Maze in Coventry, a uh, wildlife refuge. Uh, Maxwell Maze was a famous painter and he left his property, which is absolutely gorgeous, to um, the Audubon Center. So I'm, it's very early, it's probably like six o'clock right now, and I just pulled into the parking lot, got my stuff ready, got my camera, binoculars, all that stuff, and we're headed out. Uh, I can hear a lot of wood thrushes and oven birds uh, right now, just standing in the parking lot. It's an absolutely beautiful day. Finally, the rain has cleared. It's peak migration time right now, so let's see if we can find anything particularly good this walk. Usually when I go out, um, obviously I have binoculars, my camera, and I always have my phone, one for reasons of just being out in the woods alone, but also I have my uh, Merlin Bird ID on that, and I find it's really helpful to, one, be able to get really easy access to the bird songs if I have a feeling it might be one type of bird and obviously just for bird IDs is also great because you know you get to see the birds different pictures of the birds and they give you some little information so that helps me while I'm on the you know on the walk you know people used to bring their bird book bird books and I never really had my bird books with me I just felt it was like too much to 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 drag around um, so the the fact that now you can have it all on a phone is is pretty cool uh, a lot of these apps are they're, they're really not a lot of money maybe like 4.99 some are free so if you you know are interested uh, just go on the app store and whatever type of phone you have you know, see if you can download it that's the residence <laughs> You can hear nuthatches in like in surround sound right now. <laughs> That's so I'm super psyched right now. Just walk in and I heard a really high pitched bird bird call. A lot of bird calls, they, they sound the same in, in some aspects, but the pitch of that call can be different. Like you can hear the louder calls um, of like a woodpecker and stuff like that. Well, this is like a, a lower volume and I happen to look up. And when I look up, because that's where the birds are, they're up. And uh, I tended to um, look for any mu movement that I can see, you know? Uh, and I put my binoculars up there and it was a Blackburnian wobbler. So Blackburnian wobbler is my absolute favorite, favorite bird. It is beautiful. Uh, I got a couple pictures, but it was really, it was at the, the top of the tree. So I don't know how well they're going to come out. I'll show them to you, but uh, I'm super, super psyched. So it's, it's already been a wicked successful day and, and that's all i got to say about it. So I've pretty much not gone very far. Uh, there's two fields when you walk into Maxwell Maze. There's the first really small field and then a larger field that uh, the whole hiking path goes around. And just in that area along the um, sunny side of the field, there's been a ton of different types of birds. Uh, it's hard, they're hard to get a look at because they're in the foliage and you know they're on high, high, high. Um, I'm gonna have to do neck stretches when I get home just to get rid of the kinks. But I've got some pretty good looks at some uh, red start, uh, house wren, and bluebird. Now I'm gonna continue through into the, the wooded area trails of uh, Maxwell Maze. 
this is the one of the trails um, on actual knees and you can already tell uh, just by probably microphone that of uh, bird song in here not a lot of sounds it's really quiet I hear a couple of uh, woodpeckers and an oven bird but overall not as many birds as they were on that uh, sunny side of the field you know they're they're eating they're taking advantage of the warmth um, since we've had so much rain shoo a good sized fisher cat just ran across in front of the path <laughs> maybe like 20 feet in front of me he was good size it was like a reddish brown scared me <laughs> you don't see them that often um, I've seen him a couple times but not like right in front right 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 in front of me <laughs> That was fun. <laughs> so here is where the path, this particular path comes out to uh, the water. There's a lot of different paths in this area, but as you can see, um, Maxwell Mays had a uh, outdoor fireplace put in here. And uh, I'm sure it's way overgrown now, but you can see why in terms of looking at the water right here. I'm sure it was more access and less, less trees, a beautiful spot just to hang out and have cookouts, etc. So, again, even through here, you'd be looking for thrushes. Maybe black and white wobblers, high in the trees. Could be other types of wobblers. Woodpeckers, nut hatches, chickadees, titmice. I just saw a brown creeper, which was cool because they're not always easy to spot. Um, they're here all year long, but they, they're they quiet birds. Um, creep along the side of the bark, going up the tree, and then coming back down, going up another tree, coming back down. <laughs> all right, I'm uh, heading back to my car. I'm on back on the, the first uh, field. Uh, that The indigo bunting still still calling away, and there's a a pine wobbler up there, I can hear, think you can hear him, he's like uh, a continuous like trill. So I'm on to my next adventure today. Uh, I think I'm going to take you with me to that L also. And uh, Good birdie. <laughs>